Hyatt Market Heights here and I'm going to do a review of this Russell Hobbs honeycomb kettle I picked up today. Is it any good? Let's see. <laughs> Like I said, I bought this from B&M. It cost me 15 UK pounds. Um, it was reduced, I think, from either 20 pounds or 25 pounds. And this is what it looks like inside. Now, so what's in the box? We've got the kettle. So let's open the kettle up. We've got the base. You know. And... documents. So let's open it up with one hand and that's what it looks. This is the black one. Now I don't think this is the trendy one at the moment because they also had a grey one and the grey one, would you believe it, was full price while the black one was half price. It looks okay to me, doesn't it? And then this is the base. For some reason, they say it's a selling point because it's a 360 operating base. Um, just using it from the top of my head, look, yeah, it opens and it holds 1.7 liters. I don't know if on camera if you can actually see the honey honeycomb, but uh, it's got a nice texture to it. And it says perfect pour spout, but it is a plastic kettle, okay? It is a plastic kettle. And uh, in the last 30 years of using kettles like this, there comes a point when they do distort and they no longer pour perfectly. So let's test this and see if it boils water in 43 seconds. So let's get this going and timed. It's boiling. One, point two. You can hear it boiling. Has it stopped? I stopped on forty-eight seconds. So, is this kettle worth it? Well, in conclusion, yes, it is. It's a cheap kettle that's been moulded in a black plastic. Can you see that? It's quite nice. It's cheap and it looks nice and will bring you some pleasure. So, get it. And remember. Like, share, comment, and press that link at the bottom. 